That's right. We are touching holograms. This is an app I've got called Spatial. Let me just put it right there. I've got another app here called Duforia View. Now, it's a little big, so let me just use two hands here to make it smaller, and then rotate it so you can see. There we go. And then let me put it down here in your spatial, maybe keep it smaller. Yeah, that's it. All right, now let's switch gears and talk about a different kind of application. I've got a browser over there, but it's kind of far away, and I don't really want to walk over there, so let me just call it over with my voice. Follow me. This is a browser that's running Microsoft Teams, which is a tool that we use back home to collaborate. Let me see what the team's been working on. OK, it looks like they've got a surprise for me in the Playground app. I just have to say the words show surprise. All right, so let me just open up that Start menu here, and then place the app, and then launch it. So now we're actually exiting my mixed reality home and going into an immersive experience. But notice that that browser that I had actually followed me in. Now this can actually be really useful when you have things like emails or PDFs that you need to reference while you're doing your work. I don't really want it following me around, though, while I'm showing you all this cool stuff. So let me just put it over here, and then we'll get back to it later. Welcome to the playground. We spent years exploring and refining interactions for HoloLens 2. And the playground is just a tiny sampling of the many prototypes that we built, tested, and learned from. Our approach is basically to try out as many things as we could and look for the things that stood out. So for example, here I've got three sliders. Each of them is controlling this wind farm simulation, but each in a different way, using a different interaction technique. One of the things we tried is this touch slider here. So here I can just stick my finger in the slider and have it go to a particular value to control that wind speed there. It felt OK. We also tried this push slider. So this guy can kind of nudge from side to side, kind of like an abacus, which was interesting. 